Fox? It's me, your old pal, Revolver Ocelot. You know, your father, James McLeod, trusted me on our missions. Did you see the, uh, the thing that's been going around Twitter? With the Star Fox overdub? Andros's troops have Ligma. And then Slippy's like, what's Ligma? Ligma balls! And he's like, no! Anyway, welcome to Metal Gear Solid yet again. If that hasn't turned you away, then welcome to this fresh meme hell that we're about to engage upon. It, what a terrible, terrible meme that is. Oh, I forgot to do the other, um, mission stuff, you know, the, oh, okay. Uh, to stop the terrorist nuclear attack, one must deactivate the detonation code. Or destroy Metal Gear itself. Snake and Merrill head for the underground maintenance base where Metal Gear is being stored. However, Foxhound, after losing the battle, Mantis tells Snake that there is no way to get to the underground maintenance base other than going north from the commander's room and through the cave of the communi- to the communications tower. Then Mantis dies. So, um, and then Mantis dies. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs, half wolf. Half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Does <laughs> that come up <laughs> ever again? I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. No, really. That's what I do. I drink and I mush. Yeah, the, you get it in the briefings, but I mean, does it ever come up in the series ever again? Like, Snake's love of mushing? Yeah, I, I just... You know, I've been saying this, and I'm gonna say it again, I know it's dumb of me to even... ...say this, but, um, I, this game could use a proper remake. Ah! You were chewing on my bones. Yeah, I don't know about Twin Snakes, though. I, I like Twin Snakes as an alternate perspective of the story, but... Okay, now you're just eating ass. That sucked. And I don't mean eating ass in the way you think I do, chat. I'm just saying, they were actually taking bites out of Snake's... That's why Snake's ass was reduced in Smash Ultimate.
Wait, is that little dog friend? Hi, little doggo. Hi. I need you to do me a favor and pee on me. How do you make the dog pee on you? You have to punch Meryl at the end to get peed on. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Good. So this is how the famous Solid Snake dies. If the little dog pees on your box, then you, um... I wasn't just being dirty for the sake of being dirty. If the little dog pees on your box, then the big dogs don't attack you. I don't... I don't even know where to go. Is, is there a way you can avoid these fuckers? Good thing Meryl found her way through this. of rations. Was this... Okay, so this is the bottom right. I don't know where else to go. It's so dark, I can't really see anything, too. Okay, someone said bottom right, so I guess that was incorrect. Um... Keep going right. Use first person to look around. Well, it's not really helping, because the first person that I need... Like, where I need to look, there's a dead spot. Y do you see the dead spot? It's- it's full one way or full another way. Thermal. Well, night vision. Could be helpful. This is now too bright. Oh, there we go. Well, that was a fucking mess. This whole playthrough has been messy. To put it lightly. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. That's intentional. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Now the dogs love me. What are you thinking? Piss box. This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar is working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me!
How does Meryl know how to do this, though? Jesus, Meryl. Nanomachines. Hey, that's pretty so, cool. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? That's not How bad. Did you know where the mines were. It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Oh, well, there Are you, you go. Impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? You're pretty good. But I'm better. <laughs> But I guess you, know, you are dying. Get so. out of here. Meryl. Damn. Snake, it's a trap. The sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't do it. it must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to say, Jesus. Meryl, I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm beginning to think this Naomi person doesn't like me very much. Master. The most important tools you need to be a good sniper are the senses that you were born with. Kaz. No amount of training can change those. 
If your senses are dull from the beginning, you'll never be a great sniper. It's like, <laughs> crazy shit is happening and here I am calling everybody. Like, yo, homies. Otacon, have you ever seen a sniper rifle anywhere on this base? A sniper rifle? Merrill's been shot by an extremely good sniper. Sniper? A high-quality sniper rifle is the only way I can fight back. I, uh, I saw a PSG-1 in the armory in the second floor basement of the tank hangar. The second floor basement of the tank hangar? I have to go all the way back there? Well, yeah. What's wrong with you, Otacon? Oh, uh, nothing. Hmm. Something seems wrong. Snake, you cannot win without a sniper rifle. You cannot save the girl either. Find a sniper rifle. It is the only way to save Meryl. Yeah, there's a n number of people who, who are noticing that they repeat each other a lot in this game. Wait, are those mines still here? Uh, yeah, they repeat. They repeat things, and then they say the other thing that the other person said, and then they repeat again. Oh my god. Like, what the fuck? There we go. They do that. They repeat. Yeah, repeat. I mean, again, this is, this is like, kind of... I think the game aged pretty okay overall so far, but there are some aspects where if you, you know, play the later games in the series or any story-focused game... No! See, we're friends. But, yeah, you'll notice that, like, this is definitely, like, the beginning of story-focused... ...games like this. And, uh, there are some tropes that are pretty... ...pretty visible. Okay, I know I have a piss box, but... Where the goddamn crawl space is. Where is the goddamn crawl? Oh, fuck. No. Oh. oh, it's just here. Find the hole. W well, Snake, I I'm not maybe the most qualified person to tell you about this. <laughs> I'd say, Colonel, leave him alone. Give him a break. Piss. <laughs> Fuck are you doing, Snake? Even tracing the series from a gameplay standpoint is, um, is kind of astounding. You know, this is the first time I've played Metal Gear Solid since playing any of the other games in the series. 
aside from two. Like, every time I've replayed this game... Anytime I've replayed this game, it was only with the context of this and two. So, two years ago, when I ended up streaming all of the Metal Gear games... Well, most of them, at least. Um, it really gave me perspective of where the series ended up going. How these characters kind of got here. It's fucking crazy. I missed out a lot on this series, and I don't know why. But... This is still probably my favorite. I don't know why it is, but it, it just still feels like my favorite. Like I said, I just wish Twin Snakes... I, I hate to keep ragging on Twin Snakes because I genuinely do like it. Uh, but I, I have to rag on it a little bit more. And I'm gonna say that if Twin Snakes had... Oh, it's this spot. Um, there is something else down here. Can I get the body armor now? If Twin Snakes just had the music... Okay, if Twin Snakes had the music and kept pretty faithful to the other stuff... I would be playing that instead of this. That would be my favorite Metal Gear game of all time. That's a six. That's a three. That's a three, so I've gotten all this stuff. Ah! Fuck. No. Stealth gameplay. Of which I am so clearly capable. That's all I need. Vinny, David Hayter was the reason most of the Metal Gear Solid 1 voice actors came back for Twin Snakes. He took a pay cut, didn't he? So that they could hire everybody else. That David Hayter is a good dude. What was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? Can we talk about, uh, VR missions for a minute? So, I didn't pick up VR missions right away, but VR missions was like a... kind of an add-on to this game. That was entirely... missions that you would do in the virtual... reality. Simulation, combat, simulator, thing, man. And... The ninja was on the cover of... VR missions, and the ninja was badass because the ninja had a fucking sword, okay? So you want to play as a ninja, so you can have a sword. But then, you only get to play as a ninja for like 10 minutes. Christ on a cross.
But I'm pretty sure I 100%ed VR missions, or at least just completed all the missions, not like, you know, I don't know if there was a 100% necessarily, but VR missions was kind of good. Not great. But it was just this game with some interesting missions, including there was like detective ones where you had to like solve crimes, like murder mysteries. There was one where there was a giant genome so soldier like Godzilla that you had to kill with rockets. That was the stuff I enjoyed. There were some genuinely fun and bizarre missions that were in VR missions. Mission, mission, mission. Lots of fish and males. But... I don't know if it was worth the full price. Like, I didn't pay full price for it. I think I got it used, which was good. But when it came out, if it was full price when it did, not a good value, I'd say. Have you played Metal Gear Acid? No. I need a level 6 card for this, right? Yeah. I did play the Game Boy Color Metal Gear Solid, which was very good for what it was, but I never finished it. chicken nuggets. Look how they keep restocking the armory. Oh, shit. What? You got a PSG-1. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. A little busy, Colonel. Piss What's box. That? No, no, nothing. Nothing. It's piss. <laughs> How long can we do this dance? This is gonna sound ridiculous, but I'm really struggling with the controls. That, that's the part I would say aged the less good. Right? And that's that's a real sentence. Those are real words. You can quote me on that.
This may have been the worst gameplay in the entire series, honestly. You're not wrong. No analog. If you want to move around, you have to go, like, full increments. Um... The gameplay factor of this is not my favorite in the series, by a long shot. It's just, I love Shadow Moses Island, I love the characters, I love the story, I love the music. The gameplay is not bad. I mean, I, let's face it, I am sucking. I'm being very bad at this game. I'm playing the game... ungoodly. PS3 HD collection has analog. Should have played that one. Should have fucking played that one. Vinny, this game experimented in gameplay. That's why it's iffy. I am not faulting the game for trying new shit. I mean, it changed a genre, started one, whatever you want to say it did, it did it. And it's still pretty damn good. Despite my complaints. It's still really, really good. But I'm struggling with it. PS3 HD collection doesn't have Metal Gear Solid 1. Oh. You can turn on analog, Vinny? Yes, it does have it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It does. It was a download. It's on the PS3 as a PS1 classic. You get a download code. Okay, well, I think we figured this out. Through brute force and sheer, like, blunt trauma of chat being chat, we've gotten to the bottom of it. The analog stick still functions as a D-pad, so you don't, like, you know, go slower when you hold it only a little bit, right? Okay. Well, the other thing is, too, I think the only way I can enable it is if I go back to the main menu. Famous Solid Snake can't even shoot while in a crouch position. Vinny, does this game world seem really small now to you in hindsight? I was actually going to mention that. That was something that I was going to bring up a little while from now, after we saw more of the game world. Uh, yes, it does. Especially compared to some of the other Metal Gear games, but... You know, there's some artificial... ...lengthening going on here. This game has a little bit of Viagra. And the reason for that... ...is, I think, again, Genius Kajumbo... ...was focused on... Wow. I still step on it. That's good shit. Genius Kajumbo was- was focused on the storytelling. Probably developing the gameplay, because this is all like, you know... Like that dude said, this is experimental. All built from scratch. And... As a result, the game's not that long. 
There's a number of backtracking segments. But yeah, it's- it's- Shadow Moses is not that big. Were you in on the hype and jape of Metal Gear Solid 2 release, or were you not invested? Ah, oh, shit. Bad time to read the chat, eh? Um... Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, my ranking at the end of this playthrough is going to be solid jackass. I was really excited for Metal Gear Solid 2, but I didn't have a PS2 for... A while. What game... What game did I get the PS2 for? Oh, Jesus. It took me a little while to get it. I think I played Metal Gear Solid 2... ...on release. No, no, it wasn't Final Fantasy X. I didn't have that. Oh, I got Twisted Metal Black with my... Oh! Time Splitters and Twisted Metal Black. Those were my two PS2 games. Those are my first two. And then... I played the demo for Metal Gear Solid, and there is a jape. Kajumbo played a jape on everyone. And I played the demo disc, and I was like, oh my god. This game is incredible. And then when I got the game, and I played through the demo part... And then it switched... ...to a different dude. I was like, oh, that's cool. But when- when does a- when does Snake? But then Snake never dud. Snake never came. Snake, you stole a ton radar. I know. I can't use it in a narrow space like this, right? Right. I'm sorry. No reason to apologize. Even the greatest masterpiece has its flaws. The man who japed the world. Yeah, Kojima really pulled a fast one. I didn't mind it after a in while, China, but... They say, yeah. Rashness brings success to few. Misfortune to many. Snake, go forward when it's safe, but retreat when there's danger. You'll just have to play it by ear depending on the circumstances. You got a PSG-1. You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and save Meryl. Don't suddenly look into the dark. Look slowly from a light area to a darker area. If you do that, your eyes will gradually adjust and you'll be able to see better in the dark. Try not to play in the dark either. Uh, okay, is that a fourth wall break? What is it? Wolf, I... I just forget it. It is so ironic. People are working as slaves to pay for weapons that must never be used. Weapons that target the people themselves. It is madness! <laughs> I'll bet there's still dialogue in this game I've never heard. That might have been one of them.
I mean, there's so many spots where you can call up someone and you get a different piece of dialogue. Have you heard about the Metal Gear Salad movie? I have heard about the Metal Gear Solid movie. I have no idea what they're gonna do with that. The director seems competent. He seems like he knows what he's doing. He's, he has, you know, some interest in the series. This isn't like the dude who made the Mario Brothers movie where they had, they had never even played Mario Brothers. Take some fucking diazepam. Look at that speed. The speed at which. One can aim in this game. There we go. Oof. Shot a few too many times there. And yes, Sniper Wolf can take a few shots to the face. Bullets! To the face. Directly between the eyes. Meryl's piss stain. Good job with Wolf. Is Meryl okay? I don't know. I don't see her around. You don't think she's been captured, do you? Could be. Let's ask Wolf. If she's still alive, I'm gonna get some answers. Snake. About Meryl. I'm counting on you. You okay? No, no, she's not answering. Snake, wouldn't now be a good time to save your mission? Yes. What's going on? I'm not sure. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling? Something you ate? No, I'm serious. Like a premonition or something. Snake, it's all up to you. Mei Ling's not even here and she's getting premonitions.
Don't move! It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. Oh. You're my... special prey. Got it. Huh. I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. Take him away. <laughs> you should see the twin snakes version <laughs> of her outfit. Leave it to me. I want no more exploits like that. Don't. Yes, he's my target. My mind. He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole what was rightly mine. The man who stole my birthright. Forget it. Your body is strapped down tight. Me? I'm the man you stole everything good from. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his DNA too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Liquid Not is very dramatic. Yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites, every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. I wouldn't be surprised if the accent is a put on just for extra dramatics. There definitely is a resemblance, don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. James Flinders. Please. Then what? Oof, those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Oh, stage Something's name. Funny. Normally the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? 
We're going to launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So you prefer Intense your gold. wolves to my show, huh? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well, his mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. As you wish. See you later, brother. And that it actually is his real accent. Eli from Metal Gear Solid 5. You know. You know the whole deal. Oh, cool, cool camera Wait, angle, Kojima. Still in this world. Meryl. Catch you later, handsome. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. <laughs> this camera angles. Just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. I'm glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? <laughs> oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have had a lot of faith in your skill, huh, carrier boy? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. Wolf must have been feeling generous. But if you want her to stay that way, you better start answering my questions right now. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem, then. We're going to play a game, Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. What buttons are you Don't talking even about? Don't think about using autofire, or I'll know. <laughs> I'm going to run a high voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared. Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Continuous close-up of six-pack. Okay, here we go. How did you like that? <laughs> Shall we go again? <laughs> Had enough? 
enough yet? I can just imagine David Hayter We're not in the sound booth. Yet. Yes, can you scream a lot? Like a lot, lot? They had to have stitched it together. Okay? Want me to go on? Can you take one more? This actually does suck. Feeling some wrist torture right about now. <laughs> You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother, he's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? The Les Enfanteries project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. What's your dream? I want to be a real cowboy. He's gonna build Westworld. Robot snake. Huh? Looks like I got a roommate. DARPA chief? Whew. What a stench. Uh, I Damn, I caught a cold. That witch. God damn it, Johnny. not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Meryl, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear? Secret advanced nuclear weapons research? Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, BOTs. and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case... Tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see... Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. 
Drained. Fucking drained. Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Armstech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Yeah. Just, you know, bust out of the, um... The prison. Find Metal Gear. A giant walking nuclear mech. And, you know, just destroy it. You, you can do this, right, Snake? This isn't the 80s anymore. Also, I don't feel so bad about voice cracking. Snake did... He did once or twice in there. Oh, by the way, can you destroy Metal Gear in uh, five hours? Archon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. There he is. Octagon is on the way. Just because you are locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. Keep your eyes and ears open, and when you see a chance, take it. Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you're strong enough to resist. Thanks, Miller. Miller's always got my best interest in mind. Don't tell them anything, Snake. It's me. What the hell are you doing? Oh. This is how I sleep. I'm a snake. This is how I sleep. I'm used to bunk beds. And some night crawlers. Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're all right. Why don't you contact the colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Mei Ling is so nice. Naomi is opposite Mei Ling. Please, Nick, don't give up. Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. No. Having a good time in there. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly to regain your strength. 
When you've had enough, press the select button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian group. I am not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniform fools. Well, shall we begin? Okay, here we go. So what, you're some kind of double agent? What are you, like a triple agent? Do you remember in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Where he's like, what are you, like a triple agent? How did you like that? Shall we go again? I know of no such movie, Vinny. Yeah, neither do I. Had must have been... Yet? Must have been, uh... We're the not Care Bears universe. Yet. What is it? It's the parallel universe? What was it? The Care Bears? Ber Berenstain... Berenstains. Okay. Want me to go on? Please stop. Can you take one more? Stop. God, fuck, I hated these mini games in Mario Party. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn. To lead a brave new world order. <laughs> Hind T. Someone asked what happens when you submit. Well, this is a split in the story. So, if you give in to the torture, or if you fail the torture, you get one ending. But if you succeed, you get another. So, just just letting you know. You either, you either get a bromance, or, well... You okay, Snake? Yeah, yeah, only one of them is canon, though. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. Poor snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. <laughs> what? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I uh -huh. go. It's a little weird without the vibration. Uh -huh. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? Bartender. That's a tough one. Any Tell family? About yourself. That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? 
dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. Didn't no that not could. happen, though? It happened in Zanzibar. Is, isn't that a retcon? Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? Who wanted it? Besides, some people just need killing. That's no, I mean, it happened, but it, this is the yep. retcon. That's the drama that Mantis was talking about. I don't know. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. <laughs> that's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Some oil. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? Well, we're not sure, are. but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Hmm. I, I don't know. It kind of looks like a Midgar flower girl to me. That item! Otacon. I'm headed your way now. Can't you just relax? I am relaxed. I just don't know how to kill time here. Okay. I'll be there as soon as I can. The guard is only human. He has to sleep and go to the bathroom like the rest of us. That'll be your chance. Why only one guard on Solid Snake? The famous... Deadly, lethal, cunning, clever, solid snake. 
one sick guard. Don't say anything to tease or anger the person. Oh, I know you. why. If you make him mad, it'll be that much worse for you. You'll need to save your strength. And it's not just budget cuts. Perfectly invisible. Impossible to detect. Hey, I'm here. Where? You guys are regular Drax. It's me, Otacon. Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. Hey, let me go, that hurts. Hurry up. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. Jeez. It's like an animal's cage. Oh, what a smell. Because of him. Yeah, it's the DARPA chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. <laughs> also, I got you this level 6 card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. How about so you give like me a fucking gun? Me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Octagon, take him out. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Wait. Snake is dead. What the hell? The old catch up trick. Good shit, Octagon. Someone said, look at how he landed with the binoculars. I don't have the binos yet. <laughs> binos. But yeah, this Johnny... This Johnny character always seems to land ass up. You can actually, um, if you wait too long, you get tortured again, don't you? So, you figured out what I had in mind, huh? I can't believe it actually worked. That wasn't- no, no! You go straight down the underground passageway north of the cave. You'll arrive at the communication towers. You should be able to go over the glacier by using the communication towers walkway. Head for the towers. Apparently Gray Fox eventually gets you out of it. I've never seen that happen. To 
get to the underground base where Metal Gear is, you'll have to climb the communications tower on the north side of the cave. I always use the ketchup. Now that you've got your stuff back, you should take a good look through it. If you're slow equipping an item in battle, it could mean death. I mean, that's not bad advice. You know, Miller does have some decent advice every now and then, aside from stuff that's just like real world that you can't apply to video games. Before you shoot, you should take a deep breath. I kind of can't do that in game, Miller. Hmm. Interesting item. That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot. You'll pay for that. Angry Snake. To get to the underground base where Metal Gear is, you'll have to climb the communications tower on the north side of the cave. Now that you've got your stuff back. Yeah, I know. I know, Miller. Thanks for telling me. Miller also talks about the bomb. That was too close. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was quite a surprise, all right. Hiding a bomb in your items. That's a despicable act. He should never... Well, forget it. You'd better hurry to the underground base. <laughs> You're almost out of time. That's good. Okay, well, goodbye turrets. Is there a camera nearby? Oh, it's the next floor down. That Miller line was definitely one I never saw. So this playthrough's already... ...been... ...educational for me, let's say. Well, saw and heard. That was one of the things that drew me to this game. I mean, aside from the story and all the other stuff that went with it. Because there's there's a lot of stuff to like about this game. But, I don't know, the characters... Probably more than any other game I had played up until this point. Oh my god. Nope, that's not gonna work. The characters really felt alive. Because of how you could call them and get new dialogue like every time, almost. Shit. Alright, well, never mind that. Also, this is the thing about the Metal Gear Solid soundtrack I like. Whoa! This kind of shit, this ambience, 
fucking pumps me up, man. Like the electronic noises. And the oh, oh, the populist noises. Oh, come on! This is my fault. I don't feel like the series ever got as good as this, musically. Well, Snake Eater was good. No, you're right. I mean, Snake Eater, as a song, is phenomenal. And extremely You know what? Three did have really good music. Now that I'm thinking about it, it had like that disco, not disco, but like the guitar, the funk guitar. Um, very James Bond. Yeah, now Snake Eater was pretty fucking great. I still don't know if the ambience matches up. For me. For me, I think between this and Snake Eater, I still like this soundtrack better. But Snake Eater is damn close. I don't remember 2's music. I just remember the batshit crazy boss theme, uh, theme for the... the dead cells. <laughs> Copyright. What are your thoughts on Metal Gear Solid 5? Well, for anyone who's watching this that didn't watch um, my stream two years ago, I streamed a lot of Metal Gear Solid games in a row. I was catching up on the series. I hadn't played Metal Gear Solid 3 ever, which was just a crime. So I played that. I loved it. And then I decided to play Peace Walker. And then Phantom Pain came out, so I played that. And then sometime after Phantom Pain, 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 I played um, Metal Gear Solid 4, which is definitely a lot of fan service. And I was going to mention that earlier. I like the angle of the nano machines and and Naomi, you know, keeping Naomi alive. I thought that was really good. I know it's, I know it's kind of. Uh, generally regarded as a weaker entry in the series, and it feels like a lot of the writing is just, yeah, pure fan service, but but there were some really good moments in there, too. So, Phantom Pain, how do I feel about that game? The most fun to play. Some good camera angles you got there, Metal Gear Solid. Revengeance was good, too. I mean, it's a different thing. I'd almost classify Revengeance in a different category, but... It was memes. And it was good. Phantom Pain was a lot of fun. I played it a lot off-stream. Just because I wanted to play it. I loved being able to approach the, the missions in a number of different ways. I'm very tired right now, so... I'm a lot more tired than I thought I would be. But yeah, I loved being able to approach different missions in different ways. I loved all the little fucking weird tools that you were given. The inflatable snakes, for example. Wow. Um, yeah, there were some cool upgrades. There were cheap guns. Rocket Punch. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of memorable things in Metal Gear Solid V. Story wasn't one of them. I mean, the twist is memorable, but it's kind of dumb. And I feel like it, it kind of negates a lot of 
development and uh I don't really know how to explain it. Right now is not a good time, and it's also been two years. Skullface was just a shit show of a of a fucking main villain. Ooh, Skullface! I mean, we know the game is unfinished, but I don't know how much more they could have finished it. Such a lust for revenge, woo! That's what I remember of Skullface. I don't remember... Like, I remember these characters very clearly. I remember the characters in Metal Gear Solid 3 very clearly. I, I like how a lot of the villains in this series have a viewpoint that is somewhat sympathetic. And you can... really learn about them and maybe... find out what they want, why they want it. And maybe you don't fully hate them because you understand, like, oh, okay, I get it. That's the best type of villain in Metal Gear Solid. Skullface was just, whoa, whoa, lust, for revenge. I think he got off on revenge. Was that it? Like he actually got like fucking hard when talking about revenge and looking at it, and like he fed on it. Something like that. And then Vulgan from Metal Gear Solid 3 wasn't all that complex either. The dude was just a fucking psycho. But... I guess, ultimately, I would say that Metal Gear Solid 5 had some of the better... ...aspects of the series, and some of the worst. But... God damn, was it fun to play. I mean, it looked good, it played really well. For a little while there, I was really into it. And I loved the idea of the open world, until I realized that it was kind of pointless. The open world aspect of that game didn't really do it any favors. a lot of empty traveling and waiting for a helicopter. And if you watched my playthrough, my helicopter went like this. Ah! Also, good morning. God damn it. I think I need to stop playing this. I, th I think it's time for me to go to bed. I'm really tired. The side ops are bad. I think some of the side ops were kind of fun. Again, depending on how much you liked playing the game, there was a lot of stuff to do. Repetitive, yes. Uh, almost pointless. But, you know, if you wanted to keep playing it, you could. Someone in chat just said, I put over 800 hour hours in it. Jesus. When you compare Metal Gear Solid 5 to the rest of the series, it shows some weakness. Like, I think Peace Walker is better than 5 in a lot of ways. Um, but yeah, when you... Look at all this backtracking, by the way. Uh, when you compare it to the better entries of Metal Gear, yeah, it doesn't really work out. It's still great. I mean, for me, that's still like an 8.5 out of 10 game, or something like that. And... I put like, I guess, 80 hours into it about? Let's find out right now. Let's see, Steam. Um... 68 hours. 68. That's 
pretty goddamn... That's pretty goddamn good. I don't usually put that many hours into a video game, so it kept my attention long enough. I'd say about 20 of those hours, maybe 10 to 20 of those hours, it was like, okay, it's time to stop. Play one more hour so it can be nice. Get the body armor. Oh shit, you're right, yeah. Alright, let's do that. What about the Skies of Arcadia streams? What about them? I love Skies of Arcadia, that's like 50 hours. Vinny, have you ever considered the absurdity that we value games on how many hours they steal from our lives? Wow. That's, uh... Huh. Well, if you didn't use the word steal, it wouldn't seem so bad. How many do streams steal? Jesus, more than that. I mean, there's some dedicated stream viewers here that I've... You know, I've seen day in, day out. You know who you are. But you can do other things while you're watching a stream, like you can- you can knit, you can, um, bake, you can cook, you can laugh, you can cry, you can even play a video game. And have that steal some hours while you have other things also steal hours. You can- well, you probably can't watch TV while you're watching a stream, that seems... That seems a little much. I usually like to, um... You know, listen to podcasts while I play something on the Switch. Lately it's been Dead Cells, but... You know, whatever it is I'm playing at the moment. So... In that sense, a stream is good for that, because you can look up every now and then, see what's going on. It's not like a TV show, necessarily, so you don't have to pay full attention. You can- you can give it some attention, and then you can come back to it. Maybe your ears perk up when you hear something like... Chunky asshole. And then... You're like, ah! Right, I'm listening and watching a stream. You know, you might, um... You might not give the streams your undivided attention, but what I'm saying is your life is still yours. But when you're playing a game that requires your full... ...attention... ...then yeah. But you know, that's the beauty, too, of, of the, the age we live in. Multitasking... ...is very possible. So, you can play... Like, I like to watch TV when I play guitar. Or rather, do I like to play guitar while I watch TV? It feels like a more productive way to watch TV for me, because I get to practice a little bit, I get to... Sometimes I come up with, like, a cool idea that I like. Um, it's something. And even though, ultimately... Even though just watching TV shouldn't make me feel guilty, and it mostly doesn't, when I play guitar, I'm, you know, doing something else. And I'm proving. I'm developing a skill. And I have fun doing it. However, the weird thing is, when I play a video game, I like to multitask because I feel weird just playing a video game, so... Having that podcast on, or a YouTube video, or something educational, or a documentary, or... You know, a show that I'm not overly interested in. Well, that kind of works for me. This is Sniper Wolf's handkerchief, so the doggos won't hurt me now. Like, the fact that we have the ability to absorb so much more information, like, you can read a book while you're driving. Okay, let me rephrase that. You can listen to an audiobook while you're driving. The entirety of Norm MacDonald's book, and, um, don't actually read a book while you're driving. Come on. Norm MacDonald's book, The Disaster Artist, I listened to those while I was driving. 
so... I think that's good stuff. I think being able to do that... ...means that... ...you know, there's all this... ...extra... ...ability to learn... ...that we have. And I like... I like that. I really like that. Norm Macdonald... No, 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 I'm saying I've listened to the Disaster Artist and Norm Macdonald's book. I think Snake is just trying to say... Merle? Who's Merle? It's touching. I'm, I'm being an asshole. Snake. About Meryl. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake. She's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No. You're wrong. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. That's not like you, Snake. Master, what is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. <laughs> Master. Snake. You can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. That road leads to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't That's trick right. yourself. Kaz Miller knows. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake, forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl, she's pretty special to you, huh? Yes, she's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just... I guess it's in the genes. The genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. <laughs> when was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? In New York, I think. Oh. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, good luck. Watch your back, Snake. <laughs> Miller's just butting in. Like, goddamn, Miller, nobody fucking invited you. Asking the hard questions, though, you know? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna save here. What can I do for you, Snake? Also, well, before I save, I just wanted to say I've been watching The Witcher TV show on Netflix. I think it came to Netflix a bit early, and it's pretty good. Um, I didn't expect it to be animated, and uh, also look like The Simpsons. There's like a mini Bart Simpson. He's an elf. 
Oh, oh, it's a different show. It's called Disenchanted. Never mind. Yeah, it's it's a cartoon. It's not The Witcher. But no, I watched a couple episodes. It's not bad. It's not as good as Futurama so far. But a couple episodes in and uh Disenchantment is that's what it's called. You mean it's not called Disenchanted? Well, fuck. But yeah, it's pretty good. And you got some good uh, voice talent too. Billy West is in there. Fucking. The Chinese say it is Marcus the Phoenix who most often drowns. It is because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. You are probably quite used to the mission now, but don't get careless. All right, well, we got to shut it down. Someone in chat said disenchantment is shit. All right, got to shut this down. Sorry, everybody. Not worth it. Eat my pant, man. No, it's it's decent. And uh I also finished catching up with Preacher, which is a show that I think I'm surprised it hasn't been canceled. Nobody's watching it apparently. But it's so fucking good. This season got really great. So I, I can't even begin to explain it, but I'll tell you next stream a little bit of some of what happened. Like, the failed Jesus clones that explode. Humperdu! Jesus tap dancing Christ. That's all I can say. Alright, thank you for watching Metal Gear Solid. This was a good episode so to speak. Lots of good um, events, and I guess I played for a total of three minutes. Uh, most of it was me getting mauled by a dog. So that's cool. Huh. But yeah. Lots of good stuff up ahead in Metal Gear Solid. And who knows when Metal Gear Solid 2 will rear its ugly head. Um... So yeah, keep um keep on eating them pants and stuff. <laughs>